She got every time cause she bang what us Hook her on the team, bang She a little button for the cameras We got every time that she need Alright, oh, that true. might be decent We got um, the Scorpion niggas bounty Who? Scorpion uh, uh, One, Scorpion. is that higher than Dog Tooth? Dog Tooth's like yeah. 1 billion, right? Yeah, so one Even. Billion That's oh, you see Oh, the Queen's billion, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Queen like so, one point what three? Uh, or is that? Or I know bounties all equal strength, but <laughs> I feel like that might be. <laughs> Do I think Queen is stronger than? Yeah. No, I don't think so. You don't. Ooh. I think King is though. I think King is for sure. Hmm. So you, would you argue that they're tied? What's the highest bounty? Yeah, I, 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 I can see tied. Uh, the highest Dog Tooth was no. Um, you, you know Black Bears. It's like two point two billion. Oh. Uh, hmm. There you go. God damn. I'll turn myself in, boy. For real. <laughs> like that body and just leave the next day. Yeah. Yeah. I just break down. Yeah. Just put this in this account in uh, in Sweden or whatever. But no, yeah, I can, I can, yeah, I can see um Jack. Oops. What's Jack? Um, what's the uh what's the score? Dog two name? No, oh, Queen. Yeah, Queen and um, sort of easy name too. Queen and category being equal, I can see that. Uh, you jokey nigga. So, but I mean, like, it's just. But uh, yeah, it's putting more stronger. disappointment on um. Big Mom Pirates to me, to be completely what? honest. Wait, I'm like, a Big Mom Pirates? Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, all right, you're th- basically your second strongest nigga is not up to par with the second strongest in that crew. So to me, it goes like, n- n- I've lost, I've already lost respect for White Bear Pirates so anyways, but like, mm. the White Bear Pirates and Big Mom Pirates, I'm kind of like. The only White Bear Pirates can see the. Um, don't think Marco is that strong, no. He was I do not though. think. I don't think Marco's that strong. You don't think Queen could take on Admiral? Yeah, but I don't think Marco also did it. I don't think Queen can beat him. Well, I mean, Marco was just like... I felt like all the White Bear Pirates did was holding them niggas off. I don't think Queen would beat the Admiral. Uh, we're talking yeah. old Admiral or new Admiral. Oh, because, oh I'm not talking yeah. about... Yeah. Because I'm like, Admiral. new Admiral? Yeah, it might be tough for him. But, um, like, uh, what's the... Fuck, I'm forgetting names. What's the light buddy name? Uh, Kizaru. But yeah. Kizaru old head. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't think he would drop Queen. Huh? No, no, like I think Kizaru, Akainu, and, think, and Aokiji grew up together. That's what I'm trying to say. So you think they did? I don't think they did. Uh, what does that mean? I don't think Kizaru is... I think Kizaru has been an admiral for a generation longer than they... The other two have no. They, they were all there at the same time. Wait a minute. Yeah, are they yeah. the same age? in the flashback? Yeah, in the okay. flashback. Then fine. Been, I take it back. Yeah, but, I take it back. But I'm saying I think I think those three would still be like. All of the uh, I know Ben Beckman should shut that nigga down. I think it was, I think people overhyped. I that think that's even <laughs> people had that shit up too. <laughs> I find it hard to believe that Angel and the second group gets Beckman the king. I, I, First of all, I, I find it hard to believe. Like, I know we talk about admirals this, this, admirals that, but I, I I am of the side of the Marines are actually a tier weaker than the Yonkos. Yeah, I agree. So I like if you the, I don't see how um, a second in command could uh, I believe a second in command in a crew can take out an admiral one v one minus Marco Marco I think he would eventually take that L to one of those admirals you think, minus you think Dogtooth can beat an admiral? Nope. I think Dogtooth could beat an admiral. Do I believe? Okay, that? let me let me let me let me think about it. Not about not, it. Um, not the gravity guy. I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Thing. I'm thinking no. about. I'm thinking about it. No, no, no. I'm thinking about. It. Not at all. Not okay, right. dog tooth and white bird pirates. No, but I don't think uh, somebody in Shanks crew, and I don't think King and in Kaido's crew can't beat the admiral. I don't. I don't think so. You think they're gonna take it out? Because my thing is, oh, no, I don't. Think, I don't think they can. I don't think they can beat an admiral. I think that you're saying that the. Um, Marines are on the same tier as Yonkos, which I don't believe. No, but, it, but you're, if you're forgetting, it, but at least to me, to me in my mind, the Yonko between the Yonko and the second in command, yeah, it's a big gap. It's a big gap, and Admiral's fall is somewhere in between that gap. Mm. I don't buy that because if that's the case, then these three admirals now would be better, and I felt like they're what do you mean, touch. Be they would be like I would be able to see them that, but I could see all Ooh, three of the admirals can oh, drop. Again? The new three admirals should it's only, I should it's only two new ones. Yeah, oh yeah, right. Yeah. But I should be able to see that vision with those two new admirals. I don't. <clears throat> no. Fujitora was about as strong as Don Flamingo. That's about it. That's what I got from that arc. Like if they went one v one, that would have had a decent maybe. time. But yeah, it's yeah. it close. It's close. It was close. Maybe. So to yeah. me, Don Flamingo scared in his boots of Kaido's crew. Scared in his He's boots. Of Kaido. If Queen showed up, that nigga shit in his pants. Because of Kaido, I, I don't think. I don't think. Again, I'm sure Queen is strong. I'm sure Queen can drop down Flamingo. 
Yeah, I'm sure too. Right. So then, boom. That's it. I think that God was, that drop huh? You don't think so? You think what? Queen can also drop uh, drop him. I mean, no, not Queen. Dog, yeah, dog, dog, yeah, yeah, can also drop. drop him. So I'm saying, I think all the all the commanders, maybe not. No, Cracker. Cracker. Cracker fucked his own stuff up on that. Yeah, I Jack. Think above, above Jack Cracker. Cracker? Yeah, I think that could be him too. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think Jack taking them. But I'm saying above, above, like um, I think from Smoothie on, I could probably beat uh, Los Amigos. Okay. But I don't think I don't think any of the commanders can see the original admiral. They were, they were strong, you know. Like this nigga was fighting white. He made him. He, he was getting his ass. He was fighting white beard. If Marco he was face off, like he was fight. He was strong. If Marco was tied with them, no, Marco. They were not tied. That's what I'm saying. They were. They actually like they. Like they, were said, they, were, they were holding them off. They were fighting them. They could fight them, knowing that they were going to lose. They, they, yeah, they that. would lose eventually. They were going to lose. So I they, just don't see what Shanks crew. Diamond, Josu, and Marco eventually. I don't feel that was Shanks top tier. I'll put it that way. I don't feel that was Shanks top tier, and I don't feel that. Necessarily with at least one person besides Kaido in Kaido's group. That's it. The other ones, sure, I can I can buy that. Dogtooth would eventually take the L to an Admiral one v one, but I I don't buy that King would of the old Admirals, and I don't buy that either the top tier or two of the top tier in Shanks crew would. I, I'm just saying, like, what makes you think that that um that, uh, King because would? Garp and and um, Goldie Rogers gap. Who? That's why. Mm-hmm. Uh, the fact that like um, Smoker is a rival to Luffy, but their gap is that big in terms of strength. I don't think the one v one fight would equal a win, and I also don't think that like I think that same thing is true for Garp and Goldie Roger. Even though they were rivals, I don't think that Garp was actually on the same oh, power I tier as as where I think this mirrored. So I I think that what they showed us with Luffy and Smoker is how. Garp and Goldie Rogers were, which means that I don't think Garp is up there. I think I think I, the, I think, I think the Marines are significantly weaker than the Yonko. Again, yes, I agree, but I'm saying in the Yonko, I don't think that the um, I think that I don't think that the admirals are weaker than the commander. Why Why I say that is because we have a fleet admiral. The fleet admiral is going to be the one that has to take on or give the go to, like, let's say, war to war. Mm-hmm. I go, I'm going to bring my strongest niggas to take on this one Yonko's crew. So the strongest niggas are going to encompass the fleet admiral, at least an admiral or a couple admirals, and then uh, a couple of vice admirals. The vice admirals are going to take on all of these specialty ass niggas that are under the tier. So your Lord Ovens, your whatever, they're all going against vice admirals. Smoker is going against a vi- uh, like one of them special mm-hmm. niggas in fighting. So these admirals are now left to fight the top tier. And the fleet admiral, who I still think is weaker than the Yonko, is left to fight the Yonko, which will eventually take that L, which means that these admirals are now forced to also, like take like by the sandwich by sandwich theory, I feel like it's forcing those admirals. Even though it's hard for me to see, I would still think that the fight would be even. But at least one of those old three admirals is taking an L to somebody's commander. So at least one of them. So uh, when I look at it, so Akenu uh, uh, is really getting that. taking an L to somebody and somebody's crew. Besides, back then, back then. Now he's a fleet admiral, so he has to go with a Yonko. Besides Yonko himself, I don't think a candy would lose to anyone besides Yonko himself. Hmm. And I, I, the, I think the I white think, beard, I think the white beard, um, art like war or whatever is is perfect example. Is that? But besides, I'm, besides besides but, white beard. But see, our problem here, right? The problem that gets unfolded with that is now that we have entered the white beard crew, and now we've seen Big Mom's crew. We have been shown now officially that there is not equivalencies with commanders. So I can't buy mm-hmm. anything that happened in a white beard crew because now I like my justification of feeling like they was pretty weak is now proven you true because Queen and and um dog tooth separation and bounties. You don't white beards are old I mean, ass I mean, nigga. If, we, if we're throwing out bounties, white, white beards are oldest of the Yonkos. Mm-hmm. From he's a carryover from the old generation, yeah. and his belief of building niggas was like, "You're my family, so I put you in position." But like, it wasn't like there wasn't any strength limit there. It was like you're like I think he built good leaders, like or I because I still feel like where he put Ace, Ace was like his second in command. True. I don't feel like Ace is up, like, can go with these niggas that we're seeing. I don't I'm see it. We don't know shit about Ace. Though. That's true. But I don't see it. Like, I mean, do you see it? Um, you see Ace taking on um, Smoothie, maybe. I can see that. I, I don't see Ace taking on Dog depending Tooth. Depending on the strength of white of Blackbeard, if you, 
I mean, you don't like black bears, so you, you always rate them low. But yeah. if if a person puts black bear up there with the commanders uh-huh. before he Mr. before he took um white bear's power, of course, right? If someone put black bear up there, then yes, um, 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 Ace, Ace is up there too. So you think Ace they, can take on Dogtooth and win? Uh, Second in command. This was Ace's position. No, I don't think he would beat Dogs, but I'm just like in within that realm. But what I'm telling you is in that realm. Ace. Okay, so either way, you just said that the second in command couldn't beat Big Mom's first in command. So you just established oh, a tier for me. Yeah, yeah. Ace is second in command. Okay. Of Whitebeard's crew yeah. under under Marco, you don't think he can beat Dogtooth, right? But Dogtooth was first in command, right? Mm-hmm. But you don't think he can beat Dogtooth. Yeah. So right now, Big Mom and them are here at at the very least. They're here. Or Whitebeard is here. That I'm just trying to tear the Yonko crews. So right now you just said, okay, they're second in command. Definitely can't beat him. So we know for sure Whitebeard's crew is not stronger than Big Mom's crew. Whitebeard's crew. Power wise. Is not stronger than Big Mom's crew. They're I either tied or they're lower. They're uh, either tied or lower. Their second in command cannot beat their first in command. Right now we just established right, right, right now we just established that Kaido's tier is stronger than Big Mom's tier. Just by looking at bounties. Mm-hmm. The second in command is able but to again, be... You can't the, look at bounties, though. Where I'm extrapolating here, sure, whatever. Maybe in, in things it's not. But from what I'm seeing is bounties is a rough yeah, estimation yeah, yeah. of strength. So to my understanding, it's either going to be a tie or a queen takes the W versus um, Dogtooth. Big Dogtooth. Which now places Kaido's crew here. I mean, I think, yeah, I think Kaido's crew is stronger than Big Mom's crew. Right, which, okay. so Kaido's crew is here, Big Mom's crew is here. I'm just trying to find out where Whitebeard's crew is, because all that tells me now is that, okay, the Admirals, if let's say Whitebeard's crew is weaker than Big Mom's crew, the Admirals went against their commanders, and they, like, well, like, they could beat them, but they were still giving them go. So now I have to tear you up to Big Mom's crew. How are you going to handle there? That Now my guess is that y'all tying. I don't think they were giving them go. They Like, I think they, they could fight Okay. Them. So my guess is that it's a tie at Big Mom's level if we argue that Whitebeard's crew is low. Which now mean if we scale up to to Kaido's crew, somebody in Kaido's crew is beating an Admiral from the old generation, for sure. That's not Kaido. When you, like, when you're saying scaling, yeah. like, I don't think that... When I say this, I think someone can be... So let's just let's go with the 10... My guess is Chase fights, is up right? here. Let's go out of 10 fights, Yeah. Right? If, um... So... Who, I, who, I who don't think about? anybody in White Bear's crew is beating any of the old generations 1v1 in a fight. Zero, yeah. So zero I think zero wins. Correct. I agree. I argue Dog, Dogtooth might be able to take a win... Against the right admiral, I disagree. I, don't, I think, I think against he, the right I admiral, think he loses every time too. Because I, 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 in my mind, I'm saying, okay, look at it like this. Uh, do you think how much? He also much weakened himself. Do you think how he much, also weakened himself in that fight. How much stronger do you think um, Kaido is than White Bear? How much stronger do I think Kaido is than White Bear? Way above White Bear. I, 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 yes, I he's sick, dude. Sick. So yeah. You think he's way above? He's white sick bear. now. I wouldn't say way above, but yeah, he's sick. They one v one. I don't. I don't see Kaido taking like, oh, I'm about to die type injuries. No, I felt mm-hmm. like he would beat him. So okay. he might go, oh yeah, you can touch me now, but he's like, nigga, you old and your punches are weak. I remember when I fought you in the top tier and I was scared. I'm yeah. not scared so, of you. So then, what about yeah. Big Mom versus Whitebeard? Big Mom versus Whitebeard? Yeah. Um, I still think Big Mom's taking the W there. Punch is too strong. Hmm. So. Yeah, he's sick. This is it's solely based on the fact that Whitebeard is not his top tier. All he can do is that earthquake shit. But if we go 1v1, Whitebeard cannot last. Yes, he did that slice against Shanks, but that's all he had. He sliced. Where Shanks? They, when Shanks came oh, on the boat. Yeah, oh, he, hit, he hit him with the sword class. Like, that's about it. But, like, come on, 1v1, then he was sick. No, I, 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 I mean, I, even I, on the base on the order of showing, like Yonko and just like base like, anime style, yeah. the last person to show up is the strongest. Mm-hmm. Right. Based on so the Shanks order, then technically it would be Whitebeard, Big Mom, Kaido, and Shanks. Yeah, I think that's what MGG's Millie's argument is. That's all I'm saying. And the bounties are trying to like paint that picture a little bit, which to me is telling me that at least, even if you say Kaido's tier. Mm-hmm. Even if you say Kaido, like, the the commanders are not beating the old school admirals, I don't believe that there's not one person in Shanks' crew that's not Shanks that can't beat one of those admirals. At least one. I just don't buy it. There's someone in there. His second-in-command should be able to drop one of those admirals. 
Bro, I would say, I would say the, the even, best case even if is, however you want to play the fight, if it's tied, whatever, it's fine, someone's getting the case, W. Yeah, no, I don't think it's tied. I think the best case. Is I don't think it's tied tied. because the fleet admirals have shown us they're not up there. If you, how can you, how can you be stronger? You know what I mean? If you're the fleet admiral, you're supposed to be the strongest by definition in the military. Okay. That's my understanding. Pretty much. So, and then there's still the Goro say. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't think Marines are really like we put a lot of weight on them. But I think Goro say is the true power tier there. But I'm, but I'm gonna leave that out. All I'm saying, the Fleet Admiral is the top. And to me, if we can't still see a Kanu beat at any of these Yonko, and I can't, I don't think you can either. Yeah, yeah. Then there's that. It proves to me that like that nigga was like still he still can take an L to any one of those. What should we call this? If we were talking back in the day, because our assumption now is that he got a little bit of power ups between that time period. Might not have been a huge one, but he's stronger than he was then, right? Who? Mm. Akeem. Akeem mm-hmm. was stronger than yeah, he was yeah, then. I, I so. so I think that there is definitely a a commander in uh, either Kaido's career. Yeah, that could be a king. Right now. Not right now. Back then. Back then. Back then. Back then. I, I still don't think so because the- I don't know what changed with any of these people. With who? With any of the Yonko tiers. There was no power ups that happened between them, as far as we know, right? They're I mean, like, arguably the same strength right. that they were then till now. Do you think that King could be like sick white beard? I don't think so. No. But you think that a Kanu could? I think you have a better shot at it than King would, is what I'm saying. Doubt it. Like Whitebeard did a good a Kanu did a good job against Whitebeard. That was a, a plan with a lot of help though. I'm talking about you show up on a boat. And you go, White Bear, I'm giving you a 1v1. A Kanu got dropped when he tried that. And right. that is when he said, all right, let's go do this. Other so that's, that's my I issue. Plug my shit you in. try to compare um, the Marines directly to the uh, crew. Mm-hmm. Because there is no one one on one that's going to beat the young girl, right? But right. I think there are, so I'm saying. There's a fleet admiral and three, and three admirals. Right. Which, I don't think there are. There I are, say look at the battle then when you say I think, that. I don't think there are. I don't think besides the top. Uh, the top. What's it called? The top commander. I don't think any any other ones of them could probably see. Like, hey, player, uh, can you play this in for me over here? Uh, Admiral Jack, example. I don't think Jack is beating um any of the old admirals. You don't think Jack? I, I don't, the fact yeah, that's fine. The fact that on those the Long cat and dog were fighting them, they were they. There's no way Jack is fucking can beat an admiral, right? But do you think the cat and dog could uh gave uh Kanu or any no. of those admirals a go? So you no. think they would be dropped day one and, and they showed up? When you say drop, I don't mean. I don't mean like a watch it. Mm-hmm. Like an immediate drop, no. Mm-hmm. But it, they're going to lose. I mean, so you're just telling me that you don't see that any of those old admirals can take an L to any um, of the commanders in any Yonko's crew. I would say if if it's an L, the only one that can do it would be Shank. Somebody in Shank's crew. Or uh, again, I don't I don't know the comparable between um, Shanks and Kaido. My guess is Shank's crew is stronger. That's all. That's all I'm saying, because off your same theory of like the way we're showing them, I, I don't know. Is I, I arguably think. I don't know. Ooh, like, so let's let's. I, I wouldn't want to try to touch that. Let's take let's take, let's take the, sh- the sh- right sh- Shibukai or whatever arc. Do we think that that was set up in order of strength? Uh, the battles, crocodile. Then um then um what's his face? Ghost dude, Gecko Moria, then Don Flamingo. That was the order we fought those in. Do you think that was lined up in in terms of strength? Because I feel like this arc mirrors that in terms of the way we're battling people. I think that in that case it was it was strength wise. Well, so actually, if you, if any of those is off, then I don't have I don't have anything to stand on. Because so, so to me, if you well, felt like seven of them, right? So yeah, yeah, but the, well, the order we fought well, them yeah. was Crocodile was the first Shibukai we fought. Yeah. After that, as far as I remember, was Gecko Moria. Yep. Then after that was Don Flamingo. Jimbe introduced the fought. Huh? Fought. We fought those three in that order. Jimbe was there. Mihawk was there, but we didn't fight either one of them. Yeah. The was the, the, the order Kuma, of fight. But that was yeah, not Kuma really also, legit, But I Kuma guess. was right after Gecko Moria. True. But I think Kuma is stronger than Don Flamingo. Right. Yeah. But I mean, that's why Kuma's kind of weak. And he was, though, he, he was, was weakened, if you argue it. I mean, I, I, he wasn't I, full Kuma strength. Even he's still strong. What? That's what, no, that's what I'm saying. But he, he, in the weakened state, you could argue like Don Flamingo would take that W because he's a, ro- he's a robot now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fully awakened Kuma. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, he should have death shoot. So I would still argue that that is still in order of strength. And they didn't win either. He dropped them. This yeah, was pre-time yeah. skip. The yeah. time skip then happened 
and then they, they fought Don Flamingo, which yeah. was still arguably they gonna take they could have took another L to that too. Uh-huh. So I feel like it lined up in strength there, and I think that this is is mirroring that. So I would argue Whitebeard is the weakest of today's Yonko at that level. Not saying that he but wasn't the strongest at some point, but I'm you saying can't do that because then in that case, like White Bear wasn't an enemy to Luffy though. In that case, Mihawk was the first one introduced in the story. What do you mean? Ooh, true. Because you know, White Bear was introduced well, in the story. I mean, that's Luffy. where it gets weird. White though. Bear didn't fight Luffy. Like White Bear wasn't an enemy to Luffy. So in that case, we're just talking about but from it, the timeline when you see that Mihawk was the number then one. Then Big Mom was the first one introduced because that's the first one they fought. When I said Kaido's next, he yes, he fight. did. He didn't fight. He did. When, when I mentioned when I mentioned introductions of Yonko, I meant simply starting to understand the power structure and yeah. capabilities of Yonko. Whitebeard is the first one then. Technically, for Yonko, like I said, again, Whitebeard, Big Mom, um, Kaido, mm-hmm. and though we've been seeing the people of Shanks, we still haven't really seen them fought. Yeah. So that's that was pretty much my base for that. Now we're on to the Chichibukai, right? Yeah. As far as true fighting capabilities, we got a taste of Mihawk first, which is true, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, but we haven't really seen him fight, right. if that makes sense. Nor nor did anyone try to take him down, so so I mean, like that—that's like, where yeah, that's where it gets a little weird. Because that's why I also wanted to put a note oh, on Kuma see, too. Because like we still haven't really seen Kuma yeah, seen fight that. also too. Yeah. Yeah. No, right? That's what I'm trying to say. So I mean, like there's debate as far as like as, as far as like where Kuma and Doflamingo yeah. go. I mean, y'all can hash that out, but I'm still a little debatable about that. But what uh, mm-hmm. MGG was talking about, as far as like Crocodile, Moria, Doflamingo, mm-hmm. that order I would say is decently he, accurate. Here's what I'm saying: is I'm trying to put like. I'm trying to put a black box around the the old admirals fighting the commanders mm-hmm. and just use things we clearly know, which is the top end and bottom end of the spectrum. The bottom end is we know pretty much that any of the like vice admirals besides the oddities, Garp being like the only one I know, really. <laughs> Garp being the only one I know is pretty much either going to be on par or taking an L to any of these special niggas we know in the other crews. Hold From on, my understanding, you're seeing Garp is taking an L to the commanders. No, Garp is the exception. Oh, okay. so Garp is the extension of like special niggas. So I'm talking about our Lord Ovens, our Count Chickens, like those niggas. Like I argue that <laughs> them versus the Vice Admirals is going to be a bunch of ties or a bunch of L's on the Vice Admiral side. I think the Vice Admirals could be others. Okay. And then, so if you put that there, so now you say that the vice admirals are stronger than ovens. My thing is, another. Well, yeah, I think they're in the same realm. When I say realm, and that, that's yeah, fine. That's, that's and that's why I said that's it's ties or L's. That's oh, why okay. I didn't say that's drops. Right. I said a bunch of ties or L's. So, and then at the top tier, we see fleet admirals are the only people we have to say, which is why I think the Goro say is a power tier, because those are the only people I would argue can give Yonko a real go. From my hype estimation, but like I said, another theory. Fleet Admiral versus Yonko. And there, I don't see any Fleet Admirals winning. I don't see Sengoku winning. Sengoku just turned into a big-ass motherfucker. And I think that him versus Whitebeard 1v1, he might have given Whitebeard the L, but it would also be like why I think Whitebeard would take the L to any one of those other motherfuckers. Because he's sick. True. That's it. True. So, uh, him... Full body versus any one of these other motherfuckers, I don't think that they're taking an L. Um, and then a Kano versus any one of these motherfuckers, I also don't think that they're taking an L. So to me, now that your top tier is weaker and your bottom tier in my vision is weaker, so that would mean that this these old admirals would have to fit into that box. Because, and this is only coming because, because I know you can see that today with the admirals we have today, because it's easy to see it with them. Why I say with the old admirals is because I don't think any power-ups happen to these niggas between the time skip, as far as we know. So to me, Queen was always Queen yeah. before those two years. So she was always that strong. So that means that the argument stands to me in that, in that, in that realm. So I think that arguably, I don't think like the Whitebeard stuff, that's why I feel like there's tears to it. Whitebeard, sure, the admirals are here with the Whitebeard crew. Mm -hmm. But Big Mom crew, they're either even to me or like the Big Mom crew edges it out by like one person. There's one person who in her crew who could take out an admiral by by a very strong fight, I'm talking about. So it would be like both of them. Big Mom? Yeah. I'm talking about it would be like how... Dogtooth beat Luffy where both of them pretty much KO'd at the end, but like this other person had to win. So now when we scale up to Kaido's crew, King is dropping one of them. One of them is scared of King, and like he's dropping one of them. Then we get to Shane's crew, there's one or two that's taking that. So 
That's how it. I look at it. I again back to the like the <laughs> game range. I yeah. think all the Yonkos crews themselves mm-hmm. are within are all in the same realm of strength. All the Yonkos crew are in the same. So, for, for, so you for, don't see like this. You see just and then maybe like a small home. crew wise, of course. So mm-hmm. like Kaido, for example, he has his command. His Commanders are stronger than Big Mom's commanders. Yeah. But I think Big Mom has more like people, people below commanders that are strong. Than yeah, than his, than the smile niggas. Exactly. Because uh-huh. they, they are, as you've seen, they're all weak. Yeah. Right? Besides like the flying six, which I would yeah. argue are, that's their power tier. That's their yeah, like. Yeah, but and even then, like, of power you tier. him um, off screen, no problem. He wasn't injured at all. Yeah. So. I, but I think the Sanji could have done the same thing with Oven. I don't. I don't think the argument stood there. Like they look like more, that. If they fought one on one, he would take that out. I'm saying I think there's more people of that level in Big Mom's crew. I think. Okay. Pretty sure. much everyone. Yeah, like, that's why too. I mean, um, Candy Buddy. Like I, I think all of those. Hongo practically has like a like, country of people yeah, as I like her crew. All I mean, sure. I feel you. Of that level. Sure. So I was saying that, and that is why, and, and you're saying that's what's keeping the balance. Yeah, and so even with the the Marines versus um, White Beard, most I think most of the fights with the Yonko go the same way. The the the, the, uh, the Admiral, none of the Admirals could beat Whitebeard themselves, 100%. right? 100%. They, they, would, they would fight them, maybe like hold them off a little bit or eventually lose, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the remaining, the commanders would fight the, uh, but in this case, it would be a cannon fighting the Admiral. He'd hold them off, whatever, blah. And then the rest of the Admirals would be, be fighting the commanders. The Admirals, um, I think some of the commanders will lose for sure. Some of the commanders might, might um, might tie or whatever, or mm-hmm. maybe even win. But at that point, it'll be like a close fight to where like they um they're mostly out of commission. And yeah. at that point, it's just like just the, the other niggas, like um, who left over. It'll be like the ovens left over at that point, I guess. Okay. But I don't. I that's what I'm saying. I think overall wise, all the crews, all the Yonko crews are essentially. Um, within the same tier. Mm. I'll put it this way. I mean, and I, I get your point. All I'm going to say is I don't think, and this is maybe a side to it, I don't think uh, Ace is stronger than um, Dog 2. I don't think Ace is stronger than, uh, I argue, I don't think Ace is stronger than Smoothie. I think the only person Ace taking out of Big Mom's crew is, um, I don't think it's fair. Cracker. I don't think it's fair. Uh, <laughs> is it? I think that's the only thing you take out. I don't think it's fair. <laughs> that's I really don't think that. Because like I mean, anyone that anyone that all knows, we have is Marco. So uh, like White Bear's is literally Marco. Is White Bear, Marco, Ace, Ace Diamond then Josu. Right. Those are the top three. Josu Cracker. That's like even fight. <laughs> if you really think about it, hard ass <laughs> thing. Hard ass thing. Know, that's it. They just hard ass <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> hard ass motherfuckers. Al Kiji. Yeah. And hard ass. I think I think um, Cracker will get bang dropped. Yeah. Once we get two Cracker, remember like. I think most people in the world think Cracker is that that no, small ass nigga. nigga. Big Mom also has four commanders too, though. Oh, true. I forgot about that. Who the fourth one? Right. Um, the fourth the guy oh, the first nigga that got dropped. Yeah. yeah. Fourth guy got. I, I forgot close, about that. He's pretty close to the level of Cracker, I guess. Yeah. So I mean, he could. He's weaker than Cracker. Yeah, but I'm saying he's pretty close to Cracker. Like, Did we weaker. see him? Snap. No. I don't no, think they showed no, 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 him. We saw like a silhouette, I think, or we saw him. We saw him. We didn't see him. Because when we got, got by kid, right? Yeah. No, he got dropped by a rogue. Yeah. Oh. But and then they motor him out, I think. But oh. <laughs> it would be like it would be him and Cracker fighting one commander again. For yeah. example, we okay. him and Cracker fighting Jack or something like yeah. that. So, uh, oh, all right. I mean, I, whatever. Say, I, I just I think like, I think they're all relatively not one on one. I mean, it just sounds like Deuce is saying Yonko or Yonko for a reason, which is respectable. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they I are Yonko. The, I know the gap is there. I just think. Um, we yeah, are then, we're yeah, sleeping a little yeah, bit too yeah. much on the commanders, but I think no, I think I think um, we're sleeping on the on the admirals. If the uh, young, if the commanders themselves, so no, strong. because you can't see it today. That's the thing. What you cannot see uh, Fujitora beating top three. Who in the top three you think Fujitora could take on? Top three who? Commanders top three. Who's who's commanders? Who which commanders you see uh, Fujitora taking a dub on? Uh, smoothie. You think he can take them on smoothie? Yeah, yeah. I don't know smoothie power, so I can't. I, I don't, don't know. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I can't argue. So that means, <laughs> so that means <laughs> cracker. That means cracker. Sure. I think smoothie. Hmm. Tough. I don't I, see Queen. I think the Jack and I don't see Jack. Too. I think Jack would be a fight. I too. think Jack's making that meteor out the fucking thing, bro. I don't see how you can say that when the cat and dog fought him. 
But I'm saying, I like, think, I, think, I think that just was more respect on the cat and dog name than the disrespect on Jack. You feel what I'm saying? Because he still beat them. No, because I think he I don't fought think for strong. like what a week straight. No, he did, yeah. not, he did not beat them. He did not beat them. He didn't beat them. What did he do? He didn't beat oh, them. Oh wait, no, no, no. They, right. they no. dropped the uh, the bomb. They were actually going to win. That's when they dropped the uh, okay. poison gas. They but he still, win. they still fought him for a week. But they weren't fighting him together, remember? They weren't fighting him together. I feel you, they but, the but the what they did was, basically, like, if Luffy fought Jack and then said, hey, bro, I'm about to go take a nap, and then I'm going to come back again as Luffy full strength, and you're going to still be tired, and I'm going to fight you again. No, like, I get it. He fought them Jack for is a strong, week stronger than both of them, I agree. But I'm saying, if, you, if they can fight you for 12 hours and you don't beat them, I still consider them in your in your then your round. You're right. still stronger. Two, two niggas still, who have sensu beans. Fighting you no, this for a week the, straight. Like, I'm confused on why, like, if, you making it seem like that means he's weak. I, like, no, I'm not saying he's weak, but I'm saying you think that... So you think Fujitora could survive that and I drop think Fujitora can beat both of the cat and dog. Okay. Not at the same time. I mean, he can beat each of them individually. So you think it wouldn't last a week for Fujitora? You think he he's winning? I didn't say that. I didn't say Fujitora could beat Jack either. They can fight. But what I'm saying is, like, I don't... You're, what you're telling me is that if Fuji, the same thing happened to Fujitora, there... He's winning. That's what I heard. You no, said you think he that. can beat the cat and dog. I don't know that. Oh, okay. Well, the, I mean, that's what I'm not getting about. No, what, what I'm the, saying the is that him, them fight. The fact that they can fight him. Yeah, yeah. Twelve hours. It's, it's still a it's still a long fight. Yeah, hundred percent. If Jack fought you for twelve hours and didn't win, that means you're not that much stronger than him. If it's one piece, like if you're stronger than someone, they gonna they're clearly they'll drop you. you. Yeah. Like so, if they're fighting you for twelve hours out the day. You're not that much stronger than him. At the end of the day, that, that's what it is. He may have he has hella endurance, but he's not that much stronger than you. Okay, that's all I'm saying. And I and I think that that's I'm fair. sure Fuji Tora is stronger than the cat and dog. So you're saying no if, if the situation was reversed, it's Fuji Tora now trying to drop twelve hours. Yeah, at some point he's winning. Fuji Tora is gonna like he literally might, he might drop have endurance like Jack. But you're right? endurance that's like what I'm Jack. saying. But you're saying he doesn't. It doesn't get to that point where he, you need to see his endurance. You're saying he drops them Maybe, before they have to go take a rest. That's what I'm hearing you say. I'm hearing know, you say he well, wins easier than Jack. One, I think that Fujitora would beat the cat. I Jack fought Fujitora. 12 hours for a week straight to a L. What I'm hearing you say is Fujitora will fight six hours, drop the cat, fight another six hours when the dog come out and drop him, and then he'll leave. That's what I think. I don't think Deuce is working on the endurance, but I think yeah, the, I, I, the, I, the, I, w, the six yes, hours that's going on. What I'm saying is that one day, in one day they fight next What them one, one of them on their own. I think he would have won, and I think the same thing. Fujitora would win on against one of them on their own. Okay. Okay. I don't know where that was building to, but I'm saying that that Fujitora. Um, I don't think I don't know if Jack would beat Fujitora. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. So Fujitora being Jack, I don't think he'd be Jack. But he, Queen, you don't know. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. <laughs> cool. Queen, Queen, Queen got it. Shanks. Like, I don't think I don't Shanks think, top three. I don't think Queen is beating um, um Light Buddy at all. Huh? I don't think Queen is beating. Um, oh, Queen. Kizaru? Yeah, I don't think so. You think Queen is beating Kizaru? I, no, 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 no. He said. Well, he yeah, but that's that's yeah, Kizaru. Beat him. Kizaru's an old generation nigga. So yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. He's still there. You know, I think he would beat. He's basically a secret fleet fleet admiral, which is why I'm like. Exactly. I mean, yeah, sure. I think he would beat all of them. Out. But well, Ooh. Kizaru is one person that I argue is been the same tier for forever. Aokiji and Akainu are two people that I, I argue had a power up in that time skip. I don't think Kizaru changed at all because I don't think he ever had a need to get stronger. Yeah, I so think, you think those Kizaru two were stronger than stronger than them before. Then that's what you're saying. I don't think so. I I mean I don't know if he was stronger than them. I just think that he's. Stayed what wherever he was back that's, then, that's fair. which means that like, and I still think that's stronger than um, which is fine. Which maybe is, all and all, and all I was, all I was arguing problem. is that a commander could be one. I wasn't saying it would be like uh, three on three. I'm saying that there's one commander, and then it would be tier wise, meaning like the bar would drop. So in Whitebeard's crew, it's none. In uh, Big Mom's crew, it's like a tie with the top one, I think it's and then like oh yeah, or none, yeah. and then in like Kaido's crew is like top maybe, one, maybe top maybe. one is dropping one, and then Shanks' crew it might be like two is taking on one, and one is tying, and one is dropping easily. Like that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying the bar drops as you go up in the tier of people. Okay, I, just, I think I think I'm just the dropping the the king dropping the like admiral. I think that may have thrown it off. I don't think that's the point. Yeah, I don't think I think they're all gonna go like. Go, but who is cancel, going to cancel, take the eventual dub? Not there. I mean, I think that there's. I don't think King is fighting a um, 
Kizaru and then getting up and fighting another person. Oh, yeah, 100%. No, no, no. So, that, no, so I even though whether that. he wins or loses, it's still a, it's a cancel out. No, that, that's just how I like. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. Just sure. like how all, all the like stride fights go after they yeah. fight their guy, like, oh, they just sit down, they win. Yeah, sit down, it's like, yeah, 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 it's over. And that's just how it is. Okay. All right.